going to African parties and I was always in the middle, you know, doing my COSA. Then all of a sudden she started doing my COSA. I'm like, girl, when you start doing this dance? Some ladies, the minute they start seeing their period, they start taking folic acid and omega oil. Your friend will never ever copy, like want to be exactly like you. I love I'm doing so the belly hot. dance. <laughs> okay, welcome to Girls Uncut. Yeah, today's episode is especially dedicated to all the pregnant women out there and their loved ones, of course. Now, I'm sure you can see us wearing our pregnant outfits. Yes, pregnant women experience a wealth of emotions while they're pregnant. You know, they experience nausea, they feel tired, they feel exhausted, and they also feel very needy and clingy. And so we've decided to dedicate this episode to show them some love. Yeah, girls on cut, we're showing love to the pregnant women today. So men, get your pens and papers and take notes, because today we're going to dish on how to show them love, the crazy moments that pregnant women experience. And you know, we want to know what you guys think. If you're pregnant out there and you have a peculiar need, please do hit us up on our social media platforms. We are at girlsuncut underscore on Instagram and Twitter. Let the conversation begin. Hi, ladies. Hey. Hi, how are you guys doing? What's up, girl? Like, you guys yeah. really just experienced this. Like, I'm really feeling tired. <laughs> yeah. And hot. And it's not even real, but, ooh, but I, it I, I like it. But it looks real. I like you it, like though. It. I want to That's have true. a baby. Mm -hmm. Like, I really want to, like, I'm, I already started taking prenatal pills. Uh -huh. And by, Hello. no, because I heard that it helps, you know, to, you know, get, prepare you for motherhood. Yeah, I want to get married, so That's I want good. That's no good. issues. Issues, and mm. I feel like it's even good to be taking yeah, daily vitamins, yeah. right? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. it's well it true, definitely true, helps, true. especially you need, you need to, vitamins. you know, increase your fertility level as mm -hmm. a woman. You need to always give your body the necessary nutrients, especially because right now we eat over processed meals. Like you just go out and have burger and chicken and go fast food. And so when you take those nutrients, it actually replenishes your body and prepares your body to make babies. Mm. Arike has a wealth of experience. She's done this three times wow you girls are deep come on <laughs> like i'm trying to get myself together mm -hmm. you're already taking prenatal vitamins i did yes, are I you did. serious i did before I before got you got married, married. yes oh. i was already taking them wow you girls yeah. are deep man. you know why i take it's not just because of that it's because we need daily vitamins yeah, yeah anyway. but they're daily vitamins that are not prenatal ones no the prenatals ones have yeah. like no it, it they have they give <laughs> you iron it helps your skin actually mm. everything mm. like it really helps me need. out because i know that i eat a lot of junk and i don't really eat as healthy as i should so exactly. Mm -hmm. I want to take prenatal vitamins to even have my hair grow even longer, my nails be stronger, give me fresh skin. There's so many benefits okay. to taking prenatal pills, oh. not only just because of children. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I started taking when I was ready to conceive. I'm ready so, to yeah. conceive when yeah. I get married. You girls, you girls are sharp girls. I wish, I wish I knew you back then. Yeah. I should have started taking why? No, why but you, you don't that? need them. Mm. You already have three No, back kids. then. But then. why do you back say then, that? I was already taking those pills. Because I never even knew about things like this before I got married. It was yeah. after I got married that I, you know, thought about taking prenatal pills. Okay. Yeah. I was taking vitamins, like normal vitamins okay. Okay. For, for women. 
not these ones. No, Girls, but dead. seriously, some ladies, the minute they start seeing their period, they start taking folic acid and omega oils. Those things are really good for your hair, your skin. It gives you the glow. But let's keep talking about our pregnant sisters right now. Mm -hmm. So definitely, you know that you should be taking your supplements. You should definitely should not joke with that. That's the first thing they tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Folic acid is very important. It yes, helps it the is. development of your baby's mm -hmm. brain and everything that has to do with your child. So moving on, Arike, what were these, those little things that your man did for you to support you, you know, during your pregnancy, your three pregnancies, actually? Mm. Something that the men watching at home can take or something that women can tell their husbands, oh yeah, Arike husband and you, did this. Hey, come and rub my toes. What works for <laughs> me right and I work for you. Don't put your husband under pressure. <laughs> but for me, I think what I enjoyed the most was, you know, putting my feet up and having him just rub them mm -hmm. i mean that's something that i would not enjoy on a normal day mm -hmm. but in pregnancy i actually enjoyed it like he'll be like oh let me just rub your feet up the first time i was like mm, okay and i did it and it was Aww. you know i think i even fell asleep once like mm -hmm. i was just like oh. you just when you're pregnant you just want to be shown love yeah and but then sometimes when you're even being shown love you resist so there are times when you're pregnant and you really don't know what you want because you think, oh, you want him to show you affection, and then he's like doing it, and you're like, leave me alone. I'm, please, I'm, I'm tired. I'm not in the mood for this. I just want to be on my own. Yeah. So for me, there were a lot of times that I just wanted to be in my own space. Okay. Like, I didn't even want anybody around me. I just wanted to be. I didn't want to watch TV. I, didn't, I just wanted to be on the couch, lie down, sit down, and just stare or just fall asleep. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's different for people, and with each pregnancy, it's different. Yeah. With my first... I was, I just wanted to be on my own. Okay. But then with my second, because I already had a child to look after, I, you know, that was distracting me. Mm -hmm. So there are times when I wanted to spend time with my little one and just, you yeah. know, spend as much time as possible with him before his brother came. And then with my third as well, it was the same feeling. So I think with Aww. the first, it's usually just totally different. It's a new experience. You've never been pregnant yeah. before. You've never known what it felt like. You've never had a baby before. Your tummy hasn't grown that big before. You haven't put on that much weight Way before. before. So Tell everything is just it. new and you're just like, can this yeah. just end right now? Like, mm -hmm. can I just see my baby? Mm -hmm. It's usually worse towards the end. Like when you're getting to the last stages, the last stage, you're just like, come on, baby, just come out, come just out, come out, out. because day. you're tired. You can't even sleep properly. Wow. You're, yeah, you can't sleep because I, I like to, yeah. I like to lie down with my belly flat. And mm -hmm. when you're pregnant, you can't, do, you that. can't do that. So you always have to sleep, you to, you sleep on your position. side. You're uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You, uh, the spitting part for me was the worst. Yeah, okay. my, mom, my, you my, my three my pregnancies, my wow. three pregnancies. Spitting is always the order of the day. So wow. I always have like a spitting cup or a container oh, that I carry around. Oh, You're kidding me. Honestly, very disgusting. Oh, my and you know, my mom will always say, okay, try bitter cola. Oh, try fish. My mom said when my mom said out of, of, out of my mom's six children, yes. It was only when she, I'm the fifth one, it was only when she was pregnant with me that she, that she was spitting. So she had four before me, she didn't spit. She, she had one after me, she didn't spit. So I guess, I don't know, maybe I'm the spitting, yeah. I'm said the it. spitting <laughs> baby. My mom, like for every nine pregnancies she had, she always spit. My auntie spit, mm. so my grandma spit. So you're going auntie, to spit. So I think I'm going to spit. Welcome. Welcome <laughs> to my so world, girl. Like, do you have a cup? It's like, do yeah. you just feel like, So what, like, I, what, 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 I, what I What I always do is I always have like a cup with a lid, with a cover, mm -hmm. like those, the coffee cups so i have tissue in it okay. so i okay. speed and then cover just like and you talking? recycle like you but when is you it recycle even, you recycle it now like you, you keep using it oh, yeah, until yeah, yeah. yeah until okay. the cup is done and then you have another one so, so it's not as if you just speed once and throw the cup okay. away okay mm -hmm. so okay you can. okay okay, okay. just so disgusting. you know we have a cup with uh, tea in here, not spit, but don't get irritated. We're showing love to the pregnant women. Let's know your pet peeve. Let's know, you know, how you felt while you were pregnant. Hit us up at Girls Uncut underscore on Instagram and Twitter. We'll be waiting for those comments. All right, guys, we're taking a short break, and Girls Uncut will be right back. It's still Girls Uncut with your favorite girls on TV. And today it's all about the pregnancy glow and things that happen to you when you're pregnant. If you're pregnant, tell your friends, tell your family members, and tell all those people around you to tune in because this episode is about to get even more exciting. What's up, girl? Hey, Arike. You What's know when up, you were girls? saying, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. I was like, mm. what's she saying? Tell in them to Africa, tell when them you're to pregnant, you don't tell nobody. I learned that. <laughs> 
that. Well, you tell them to watch girls on. <laughs> I learned that when I got here because you know over there abroad, you know it's a good thing to tell somebody what you're having if mm. you ask them. But I was to ask my my um, <laughs> my my cousin's friend or whatever. I said, so I said, girl, you're pregnant. What are you having? She said, I, I, you don't ask people that. <laughs> I said, oh. I said, but why? Because you know these people here, somebody can just be wishing you evil or your baby will die. I'm it's like, crazy. why is everybody so evil where well, a lot of diabolic thing goes on in Africa? Because over there in abroad, nobody cares. It's, mm -hmm. We're happy for you, girl. Yes, we're like, yes. what are you having twins? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? What are you mm -hmm. going to name them? But here, you don't even tell. And then I was hearing you say something earlier about pins. Oh, yeah, yeah, speaking of pins. Pin. Tell me about the pins. Oh, well, these well, it's, are it's, the pins. Oh, she even has the pins. These right are the pins. So, so it's, it's a superstitious, super superstitious belief in um, Nigeria. I don't know if it happens in other parts of Africa, but when I first got pregnant, my mom would always tell me to wear a pin under my dress or mm -hmm. under my outfit, and I would do it. Like around and then the one day, around the belly. No, no, it doesn't necessarily have never to be around. It. Just on on your anywhere, on your yeah. shirt, on your skirt, on your anywhere. Anyway, it doesn't so necessarily have to be here. The pin no, though. you just put a pin. Wait now. So I used to do it. And then one day I said, okay, so, because there were times I forgot to wear the pin. Okay. And then one day I said, oh, so what's this pin for? And, you know, I think it was even my auntie that answered. And she was like, ah, it's to chase away evil spirits. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I found it very funny. So a pin is supposed to chase mm -hmm. away evil spirits. Do you pin mm -hmm. right over the pin? No, you don't. You just put a pin. So I think it's supposed to shine. Pins. I think it's supposed to shine in their eyes. Oh like goodness. maybe some part of the pin is supposed to shine. Of course, as soon oh after God. I heard that, I was just yeah. like, no, I just lost it. And, you know, I stopped wearing the pin. With my second, I never wore a pin. With my third, I never wore a pin. I think it's so superstitious. And yes. I think people need to understand that, you know, these things happen like you get pregnant they're not it's not you get getting yourself pregnant god has ordained yeah. you to be pregnant mm -hmm. and if you're going to carry that baby to full term you will it's no matter god. what anybody says yeah. no matter what hand touches your belly oh yeah so people should stop believing in you know crazy 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 things but for me i would say that i actually feel more comfortable having a stranger you know how people come people abroad especially yeah. like they see you and they're like oh my god this is so cute are you having yeah, twins because my exactly. tummy always grows like this big yeah I, I i feel more comfortable having strangers touch my belly really than having people that, that i know, know that i'm not so close to i mean if you're close to me like you guys my friends if you touch my belly it's fine but then somebody that i'm not really close to that yes. knows me or maybe like a family member that you haven't seen in ages that comes to you and then starts touching your mm. belly i don't feel you're trying to kill my baby I'm but i'm just like mm. me. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, yes. but it's so annoying though. Like a lot of people walk up to pregnant women and they just want to touch. <laughs> like, don't touch. Do you have to touch? There's certain things. Nobody like, can you know, be cute sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you don't have to touch. It's such a joyous moment. Like your glorious spirit about to bring another life, life in. Yeah. And there's lots of women out there that can't even do that, and they're mm. crying every day, and they're seeing this negative pregnancy mm. test. You know, so mm. I can understand the. Enjoyment no, if if those ones want us. to touch, I mean, yeah. you can be like okay i want to use your pregnancy as a point of contact exactly. you know mm -hmm. but there's some that you, you can see that this one is still in secondary <laughs> school or it doesn't even have direction in her life yet. and you're like oh what's that that's no cute. don't touch keep but, it to but yourself it's cute sometimes. but then again you know there's one thing that a lot of pregnant women experience like in the first trimester the doctor will advise that you keep it low in the room like no sex even if you're going to have sex it should be very limited in your first trimester but for why why is that what do you think for so? the safety of the baby mm -hmm. that's so just like what the they recommend be poking the baby they don't want you to go rough on yeah the because he might get too excited and mm. just forget himself and at that point they would literally advise you to not go on heels you just need to be safe because okay. that's the most critical yeah. part of the pregnancy mm -hmm. after the first trimester which is about three months to, yeah, the three first months, three months, yes. you're good. Then, wow. you're, you know, you get clearance for your doctor to take action. Mm -hmm. But even then, the positions vary. You won't do the normal styles that, you know, you just stick a splint and do all those wild <laughs> things, you know what I mean? So when it comes to sex during pregnancy, mm -hmm. you know, you could do by the side. By you know, you lean to the side. <laughs> and okay. then, you know, it's very intimate. It's very, you know, cuddly. Mm -hmm. But you can still go, you know, doggy style and everything. But for pregnant women, that is usually, I don't know about you, but that's usually 
the favorite. So what about the ladies that want, <laughs> the so favorite about position the that want to get pregnant? Like you know, that want to be like mothers like you guys. You oh. know, what can they do? Because I already said that I'm already taking prenatal pills mm -hmm. because I want to already be ready mm. once it's time for when I get married. Because I don't want to just well, I mean, yeah. shop shooter. Girl. You know, I'm ready. Like, <laughs> I'm ready. No, but I want to get married too. I don't want to be a baby yeah. mama. But mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that because every situation is different yeah. and children are always a blessing from God. Yes. So let me not say that. I'm not talking down on anybody because I love children or whatever, but I just want it to be with my guy. You know, I feel like it's more like honorable. You know yeah. what I mean? But anything can happen because you can get knocked up before the wedding day, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So it's the same thing, right? Because yeah. you already have a baby inside. Yeah. So well, what advice would you give ladies, you know, who are having trouble conceiving? Girl, when you <laughs> open your legs, open them wide. Wait, hold on. My, wait. Mom, my mom was saying, say with, hallelujah open with your them legs. Wide. Yeah, <laughs> open them wide. And then as soon as you guys are done, put your two legs up together. Shake those no, legs. Don't yeah. shake. I hate you shake. shake. Shake so that it goes, real, oh, it goes in. So okay. yeah, so that the sperm goes in. Shake mama. those legs, girl. Shake them so that they can so that they can swim faster. And, you oh know, my goodness! Hit those eggs. Oh no, the one mm -hmm. I hear, which was what I did, mm. is when he's done, you just lie down there, don't move. Mm. Let the thing just go boom. Mm. One touch, baby boy. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. And eat yam. They say you should eat yam. So uh, yam is good. Mm. Yam. That's what people say. Mm. So yam Especially for, for people that? who want to have twins. Mm, yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah. I've but heard, then that makes before. you fat too. Oh, uh, yeah, you Pre want to have a baby? I'm thinking about getting be ready to get fat. You're still gonna put on weight anyway. <laughs> you're eating for two. So how about eat your? So what about a lady does them. all of that and still nothing? Hooray! IVF. Hooray! There's something called IVF. Hooray! Yeah. Mm -hmm. IVF, IVF works, but sometimes IVF may not work yeah. too. Yeah. So you still need prayer. And it's very painful when it doesn't work. So at the end of the day, it boils down to God because He's the one who gives kids. He's the one who gives gives children Patience. you know so you just need to be patient mm -hmm. you need to keep trying yeah. and just you know for the man he still needs to love his wife regardless you know mm -hmm. what i mean exactly. and even when she's pregnant you need to love her through it because at that point you know they're feeling very insecure mm -hmm. their body is changing they'll be like ah when he met me i had six packs and right now it's just one big bag <laughs> mm, oh my gosh <laughs> but that's that's true so mm -hmm. you really need to show your wife love and, and enjoy the making as well exactly. enjoy. because when people are sorry to um, yeah. interrupt you know so because when i realized that when people are trying to conceive when they're trying to con um, have babies they stop enjoying sex yeah because they're just they're, they're just, just having wow. sex for kids so enjoy love making enjoy yeah. it yeah. let your body and love your wife mm -hmm. her ovaries will know that you love her because some guys are wicked, like, ah, ah, you so, so nice, so, so nothing. That's the thing. And that's why, the mom, that's so why I'm nothing. saying that you need to yeah. love her through it. Don't get anxious. Yeah. Don't let society put you under pressure. Because God is the one that gives children at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And, and what about the family man? members that put you under yeah. pressure? I hate it when family members put people under pressure. Mm -hmm. You get married, and then the next thing they say is, so when are you having a baby? It happens all the time. It happens it's a crazy. lot in Africa, and it's so crazy. Don't put people under pressure. When they get married, let them enjoy. Mm. Let them enjoy the marriage. When they're ready to have kids, they would have kids. I Don't remember, push them. Don't push them. I remember you mentioned eating yam mm -hmm. when yes. you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now, the temptation generally is to eat for two. It can actually be very deceptive <laughs> because you're really just so hungry. <laughs> Half of the time, you're hungry. And if you eat for two, you pack on weight that you won't even believe yourself mm -hmm. so try to watch your portions mm -hmm. you know because yes. you always want to munch on something so keep healthy options keep healthy fruits you know just quick easily and you know accessible mm -hmm. in your fridge or in your kitchen or beside the bed because like me if i wake up in the morning then if i wake up in the morning and i don't snack on something i'll throw up. i always used to throw up. i didn't spit you, but i oh, used to so like lucky. when i'm brushing my teeth i must a oh, gag and just throw up. Ew, and it's nasty. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do? Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, what did I do? Like, did you have food next to the nice stand? Well, I usually had like biscuits because yeah. I always had to have something in my mouth because of the spitting thing. It's so oh, disgusting. Oh, crackers, all, crackers really all kinds of biscuits. Just, mm -hmm. just to have something in my mouth. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, we're going to have more to say when we come back. We have to go on a quick break. We would be right back. Don't forget to join the conversation at Girls Uncut underscore on Twitter and Instagram. We would be right back, guys. It's still Girls Uncut. Oh, and of course, it's question time from one of our lovely viewers out there. And of course, you can join the conversation at Girls Uncut underscore on Twitter and Instagram. And this question is from Tina, and she lives in Enugu. And she says, a special shout out to Chinoso. You are hey. such a lady Thank with class you. and poise. Ooh. Keep it up, the spirit. I'm and she has the questions for all of us saying, yeah. She wants to get into the fashion game. How can she do that without breaking the bank? Mm. When she says fashion game, like, what does she you know, like, buy be a slay queen. stuff, Ooh. clothes, and all of that? Yeah. Girl, okay. I'm a woman on a budget. I, do, <laughs> I don't know to spend on things. Yeah. Go online. There's so many shops, so yeah. many online shops with good bargains. You'll mm. get hot things, and they will even deliver to you. Yeah. That's what I'm and you know, it's hard to tell you what to buy because your body is different from mine. I know what I like. Figure out what you like. Look for what you like and shop on a budget. Have a budget and do not exceed your budget. All right. Thank you, mm -hmm. Tina. Oh, that compliment mm -hmm. made me feel so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then it's amazing that you want to slay on a budget and it's actually really, really possible. The thing is, you need to be creative because if you just go into the market to buy clothes and you're not able to style yourself, then you just be literally, you need to break it back. You need to learn how to recycle your clothes. You need to learn how to mix and match, make ordinary pieces look extraordinary. Mm. It's just, you know, being creative, trying out different things. You would experiment, you would fail sometimes, but you need to think outside the box and know what works for you. That's very important. Define your style. Are you a jeans person or do you want to be, you know, the slay queen or curvilicious and stuff? Know what works for you. If you want to wear dresses, if you want to do gowns, does the skirts work for your body? You know, pencil skirts, flay skirts, peplum skirts. What works for you? It's only you that can tell yourself the truth. You understand? We can only be here and give you advice. But at the end of the day, you know the money in your pocket. You know the, you know your body type. So you need to put all these things into consideration and be very creative. For me, I like going to the market. Like I went to one of the biggest markets here in Lagos, Balugu Market. Yes. And the first time, you know, I learned my lesson. Next time, I'm not going to dress up because everybody was pricing me. Mm -hmm. So the next time I came there with a bike man that I saw on the corner, I said, please, just come with me, please. You know, because I knew that he will also help, you know, negotiate like my auntie now. No, no, no. So, you know, I found a lot of great stuff for like 500 Naira, you know, mm -hmm. even cheaper than that. And I left with two big bags of lovely things that mm -hmm. vintage things that I you know I wanted to mix and match with the new things that I have so everything is possible you don't always have to spend so much money to look mm -hmm. good yeah. girl please really bargain bargain well shop online like mm -hmm. Arike said yes. and you'll find such lovely things and learn how to put it together mm -hmm. follow these like magazines or whatever and get yeah. inspired by people mm -hmm. that's what I have to say all right, I well, think it's girls. Time to I think it's time to go social. Let's yes. do this. So Yay. Let's do so this. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm loving this picture. Sorry. It's very funny, actually. <laughs> so it has the child saying, "No, no, I'm not insulting you. I am describing you with that wow. look." Like, Mm. And you know, it's so real because there are times when you're describing somebody mm -hmm. and the person thinks that you're abusing the person. For example, you say, oh, okay, that short black man. And the man is there. The man is, oh, so is it me that short? Am I black? Am I short? And you're oh my like, God. but I wasn't insulting you. I was only, I was only describing you. So yeah. why is it that people actually get offended when they're being described? Because the truth hurts sometimes. <laughs> and you don't want them to call you out. You want to just keep that inside and hopefully nobody notices yeah. that you really are a yeah. short black man. But what's I mean, bad? There's nothing everybody wrong. Everybody has their insecurities. So you don't want to that. point it out and expect them to be happy. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well. Hmm. So. Say what it is. If it's black, it's black. If it's white, it's white. So why am I going to call you brown when you're black? Okay. Oh my goodness. Anyways, guys, it was fun hanging out with you as usual. Yeah. And girls and cat, we have to go right now. I wish we could stay longer. 
Uh -uh, girl, go. I have to sleep this and, baby um, right you here. Know, mm, kicking. Our babies are kicking Ooh. right now. They so want to go home. Congratulations How to all the expected mothers out there. And the mm -hmm. ladies that are expecting or wanting to have a baby, just be patient. Keep praying to God and take your vitamins. You heard her. Take your vitamins. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at girlsuncut underscore. You can also use the hashtag girlsuncut. We have to go right now, guys. Ta-ta. Bye. -bye. Bye.